YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, back in here with yet one more video. First of all, guys, it was my birthday yesterday. I put up a post about it. Thank you to all that wished me a very happy birthday. It's crazy, 34 years old, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it went like this. Like, my 20s just went like this, from 30 to 34 just went like this. You know what I mean? And time never stops, you know? But I look back on kind of my progression, right? We talk about this channel, hashtag progress over per perfection, right? Not focus on proving, but focus on improving and the value of being able to do that. Like when I look at my life and I see the improvements, when I see the progression, I can do nothing but to look back on each decision that I made for better or for worse and be happy about the destination or where I am right now. But listen, I don't want to get into the side story right now, but again, thank you to all that showed me love on that video. So listen, you see the title of the video. I want to get into my whole YouTube setup, right? I get a lot of questions on the channel like, yo, what camera are you recording with? Like, what laptop do you use? Like, what, 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 what editing software do you use? Like, I, I want to be able to answer all of these questions and much more. Uh, I'm going to get into it with you guys right now. So I wrote down a couple of notes. So I'm going to make this into a three part series. The first is going to be focused in on hardware, right? <laughs> what are the physical things that I'm using to record these, um, these uh, videos? The second thing is going to be on the software and how I'm actually editing. So I'll get into the computer and show you how I'm editing these videos. I get questions like, how are you putting the two videos together? Or what are you doing? Like, <laughs> so I'm gonna get into all those questions um, and just show you guys. Uh, and then the last one is gonna be on how do I upload these videos and then also revenue? Like, how do I make money off of these uh, videos? And I'm gonna get in there and even show you how much money that these videos that I upload actually make. Cause I feel like you can't give someone a picture from soup to nuts unless you, unless you give them everything from the beginning point all the way to the end, which is the revenue that it might generate. Cause I feel like that information will help you make the best decision for yourself if this is something that you wanna do as well. All right, so <laughs> enough of me talking. Without further ado, let's just get right in it. All right, so I'm up on my Amazon account. I'm in my order history. Now this is back in 2016, so these prices may not be reflected today. And also too, for all of the items that I list, I'm gonna put them all down as an affiliate link in the description box down below so you guys can look at the products yourself and then be able to purchase it if that's what you want to do also keep in mind that I'm not going to go into in-depth detail about each product that I'm going uh, that I'm gonna be bringing up here I just want to give you the what that I'm using maybe one or two tidbits of the why and then you can do your own research to see if it's the best setup for you um, so looking at my order history here's my laptop the Rogue, so that's Republic of Gamers. One of the most important things to note besides the processor speed, so an i7, 6700, that's a really fast processor, especially for the time. But the GTX 1060, so that's your graphics card. The graphics card helps you render videos when you're exporting out of the uh, video editing software. So it's really important to have as much um, power within the graphics card so it can kind of help that rendering along with a very fast processor. Um, terabyte of hard drive space. Now the only thing that I would have really changed about this, well two things, number one, this is a heavy laptop. I think it's like five or six pounds and I don't take it anywhere. I thought I'd be taking it a lot of other places but five or six pounds is like, it's cumbersome, right? Uh, so I would have gotten this in a desktop and paid a lot less. You can say I paid $1,200 for this. Um, but you take the exact same guts, you put it in the desktop and it's far less money. So I would have gotten a desktop. Um, and then also, I only have a terabyte of HDD um, hard drive. I would have gotten SDD, I think it's SD, so solid, st so SSD, solid, <laughs> solid state drive. It's just a way faster hard drive um, when you initiate programs. It just starts it a lot faster. So I don't have any of that on here. Now I've been considering getting an external SSD drive, but I don't know, maybe later on. All right, so the next thing that I wanted to go over is, yeah, I purchased this all around the same time. So my microphone, I currently have a Blue Yeti USB microphone I bought for $90 
uh, during this time as well as a pop filter on top of that. So I used to use the microphone and the pop filter heavy, um, but not so much anymore. Now the microphone that I use is the one that sits right up here on top of my camera um, for the conversations that I'm having with a, a, a guest. I used to use this Yeti microphone a lot more when I wasn't showing my face. And honestly, the clarity of this microphone is bar none. I think for $90 it's a fantastic purchase. Now the quality of the, cam uh, of the microphone, which I'll get to here in a second, right on top of the camera, it is, it's okay from time to time, like it, but it's not as good as this blue, uh, this blue Yeti microphone. Now another thing that I wanted to go over is, you know, if you get yourself a laptop like this, you gotta make sure that because there's so much power within it that you have a cooling unit as well so it doesn't overheat. So I have this Tree B, New B cooling pad. Um, you know, I don't have much to say about it besides I have it installed <laughs> and my laptop doesn't seem to get that hot. So I'll recommend it, $21, I think it's good enough. Uh, another thing that I wanted to go over is this Amazon Basics tripod. So this is the current tripod that's underneath the camera and I'll try to either spin this around or maybe I'll take my cell phone and record what's going on here. But I have this $20 Amazon Basics uh, tripod uh, uh, that is holding up this camera right here. Now in terms of camera, this is what I use. The Canon EOS 70D SR, SLR camera. Now this is the kit that I bought, but I didn't buy it on Amazon. I actually bought it used two and a half years ago. So see this price right here? I think I paid about 400 used on eBay. And really, you don't need to buy new. You know, if I bought used, everyone else can buy used. This is the same exact camera that I use photography as well. So the amount of usage that I got out this used camera is just unbelievable between both avenues, YouTube and photography. So um, this is a fantastic camera. One of the reasons why I got it is, you know, one of the most viewed YouTubers, Casey Neistat, he was using this, this Canon 70D. Now I will say, you don't necessarily need this. Another version that you can go to is a Canon T6i. That's a very good camera. The reason why I really got this is it has an articulating lens. So I'll spin around, I'll put my camera in here so I can show you guys exactly what I mean. So as you guys can see, see I'm recording myself right now. So when I have bring in guests, they can see themselves while <laughs> the video is going on. So it actually helps a lot because um, it's actually, it's pretty weird to look at the camera and just talk to people with it. You know what I mean? Like it, but I, what I tell them is that they can look at this articulating screen right here, at least to act like they're looking at me as they're talking within a, within a conversation. So that ability right here is what pushed me over the edge. But again, you don't necessarily need the 70D. You can go get a T6i, which is a lot less money or a T5i or what have you. Uh, here is the microphone that I was telling you about earlier. This is the Tacstar microphone. Um, I was doing a lot of comparison shopping between this microphone, this shotgun microphone, and the Rode mic. Um, I'd say the Rode mic has a lot more marketing behind it. This Tax Tacstar has no marketing behind it, but the proof is kind of in the pudding with this <laughs> with this microphone. I mean, it sounds um, just as good as the Rode microphone, and if you do reviews on it, you'll you'll be able to see that as well. All right, so now I want to go over the lens that I attached to this SLR camera. Now guys, this is the same lens that I use for photography. You don't need a lens like this. I just, I just wanna preface, but it's what I use, so I'll show it to you. I use the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 art lens. You can see down here what the price is, $650. Again, you don't need this lens, but it's just what I record on, and it doesn't necessarily make it any more crisp than the lens. Well, actually, it does make it a lot more crisp, but at the same time, you don't need it for YouTube, right? You can use the lens straight out of the box and get almost as good of a clarity as what I'm uh, showing you right now. So don't feel like you need a lens like this in order to get started. But I love this lens. I think for photography, it puts my stuff on another level. And then for recording, it looks pretty good as well. Now, last but certainly 
not least, I wanted to go over my lighting setup, which is kind of unconventional, but I wanted to kill multiple birds with one stone. So I'm gonna start recording right here. So I have the Nano Leaf light panels. Now here's my camera setup, and then here's the light panels. So what is this? Well, it's essentially a LED lighting kit that it comes with an app, and I can make these pan. I can set these panels up exactly how I want. They're all like connectable. They all connect, so you can buy. So in the starter kit, it comes with this many. Um, but you can buy more later on and just keep on attaching them wherever you want. The reason why I got this light panel uh, kit is not only for fantastic lighting, but it comes with an app that um, you essentially can change it to any color. So I'm not going to go into the app right now, but there's actually a button right here. And then look at that. It starts to, it starts to rotate or do whatever you have pre-programmed into the app from like a light and a color perspective. Um, so also too, you know, you can set it to press this button up here and then it's voice activated. So, um, or just sound activated. So I could be in here with a bunch of people and music is playing and then the music is actually affecting how these, the light panels are jumping out at you. It's such a cool unit. <laughs> so not only can I use it for parties over here or just set in the mood, but then also kind of lighten uh, for these videos. All right, so I would definitely suggest that you pick yourself up um, one of these if you can uh, at a damage of $200 just for the starter kit. I actually think I paid $250 when I first got these, so it looks like the price has gone down. All right. All right, so I've gone over my basic hardware setup. We've gone over everything from what type of laptop am I using. Uh, the fan underneath the laptop, <laughs> the camera that I'm using, the audio that I'm utilizing for the fan, the actual tripod that I use, the lighting setup, um, and, and I, you know, I wanted to kind of close out here with a couple of final thoughts. Uh, irrespective of my setup and kind of the money and the cost that you see associated for all of this, you don't necessarily need the type of laptop that I have to render videos. It's better to have a high-end laptop because then it takes less time to edit videos. You don't need to have this camera that I have right here, but after doing my research, I wanted something that, um, you know, had something that I could use both photography and video for, and had this articulating screen, and is a magnificent quality. So these are some trade-offs that I had to think through in my mind to come up to a decision that I wanted to pay this amount of money for this camera, and this lens. The fact of the matter is, is that you know I could have used my cell phone. I could have, I could have stood something up, used the cell phone, and then created content from that. And we all know YouTubers that do. They use their cell phone. They they upload from the selfie video. You know, and on YouTube, it's you know it's it's content and it's texture over polish, right? Um, your video can be as pretty as what you want it to, but if the content doesn't make sense or you're just throwing up stuff just to throw it up without uh, intention around what you're doing, people won't watch, right? So you don't need this type of setup, <laughs> but it's what I use, it's what I, it's what I like, it's the type of quality that I wanna produce out when I have folks that I know image behind what it is that I'm pushing out there. I didn't need this, <laughs> this light, this cool lighting setup, but again, I was thinking through the, the purpose that I would use it for and the fact that I was thinking of, well, I can have a cool uh, uh, like LED lighting setup for the crib when I'm throwing events and stuff like that, but then also I can light my face, so I needed it to be multi-purpose. I see people, they put up, you know, they jigsy rig a light bulb, put like some foam condenser on top of it, and then that's their lighting for the video. But I just chose a different route because of the available funds that I had available to me, as well as the purpose that I wanted to use them for. All right, but listen, this has been your video. Questions, comments, concerns. If I left anything out, let me know. Leave it down in the description box, you know, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. The next video, I wanna get into the software. So what are the things that are actually on my computer that I use to be able to edit? And then how do I edit? How do I put a normal video that I do together? All right, class is in session. Until next time, YouTube, peace.